What is going on, guys? I am going to get into HMNY, Halo Mattis Movie Pass. And uh, this stock has been a complete train wreck. Yes, it has. I'm just going to remind you to like and subscribe this video. Um, so on 1227, this company is going to have a stockholders meeting. Let's get right into it here. Computer. Oh, yeah. Live theme is good. Live feed. Live feed. Okay, here we go. So they're going to have a stockholder meeting. After losing 99% of its value, MoviePass Parenthood, Parenthood Company is getting ready to ask shareholders to support its CEO, Ted. Ted. Yeah. The asshole Ted. And approve his pay. What? What gives him the right, you know? Pay, what, what does he think he's worth? Like 30 million, 50 million? He should give his company back, or he, he should give his money back to the shareholders that lost a fortune. Like, really? I mean, he doesn't need money. He's already made millions of dollars already. This is crazy. You know what I'm going to like is in this shareholders meeting, they're like, all right, yeah, what do you want, 30 million, Ted? How about uh, we just can your ass? That's what I hope is going to happen. I hope they fire him. But also another thing in this meeting they might be talking about is in reverse split. So they're talking about going into another one because you know why? They're going to be kicked out of the NASDAQ and they're going to the OTC. So they're... They're really trying to stay into the NASDAQ. And one thing I do have to say about Ted is, you know, he uh, he knows the, stop, the, uh, the uh, stock market. He knows it really good. All right, and here's another thing that you need to know. Hudson Bay, uh, they own 9.9% .9 ownership of HMNY. Yeah, so um, say if the stock runs up to... Say if it runs up to like, say, four cents. It's going to have a hard time getting over that. You know why? Because the shares are going to be floated. So it's one thing HMNY needs to do is they need to focus on what are they going to do with this Hudson Bay deal. They need to figure this out. If the stock wants to run up, they got to figure that out. And probably what they're trying to figure out is how to get an RS, how to get the stockholders to vote for it because... Nobody's going to vote for it. All right. So here's something else that the movie pass is doing that HMNY owns. Um, they just came out with a movie. John Travolta's in it, uh, about John Gotti. So they're, they're still rolling along trying to make stuff happen. Here's their exciting website. looks like, uh, is that a star being blown up or something? That's what it looks like. Bunch of stuff on here, movie pass, media, and all that crap. It's too bad this company's not worth a damn. So here's the reverse split that they tried to do back in September. They tried to do, they said they were going to either do a 1 to 500 or a 1 to 250, which is absolutely crazy. Like, no stockholder in their right mind would do this. There's just, you would lose everything. And of course, the stockholders won. And uh, they never even had this meeting because the stockholders are because Ted was like, we don't even have a chance at it. So good for the stockholders. Very. I'm very happy with that. So here's movie tat uh, freaking movie pass. They're trying to they're trying to make this more affordable and better and they're trying to make money off of it. So. They lower the price to 1995 a month, and that's three, I believe it's three movies a month that you get. Um, you can't use AMC, though. And uh, they got some higher tier stuff, 1495 for 2D, blah, 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 1995 for IMAX and all that 3D stuff. So, so they are trying. So this stock, last year, back in 2017, it was $2,200. 2200 as you know like it ran down 99 percent. so what is it now this stock is now <clears throat> see see it's point zero 0.016 point zero 0.016 this stock is right now 
Look at it. Just, I guess it hit bottom. That's what it looks like because it's just been running across ever since. See October eighth. It had a huge spike here. That's just a huge pump and dump. So, this stock has been absolutely crazy, crazy. And that's what I just went in and um. So Mitch Lau, he's the CEO of MoviePass. So you have HMNY, which Ted is a CEO. And then you have Mitch, who's a CEO of MoviePass. And he used to work for Netflix. Um, so they were like, yeah, bring him in. You know, like freaking Netflix is doing amazing. You know, he can actually do something with like MoviePass and make it great. It just wasn't making money. It wasn't making money at all. Well, he showed up. This is today, uh, 12-11. He showed up in Dubai. Here he is. Uh, he's talking, talking about business and stuff like that. Um, I don't know why anybody would listen to him about his business because how do you have a stock that was in $2,200 last year and now it's down to 0.016? It's just horrible. So this is Movie Pass and HMNY and... Um, like I said, it's I I put twenty dollars in, into the stock just to just for like a lottery ticket, basically. You know, like I I pretty much figured I'm not gonna I'm not gonna make any money on this. You know, I figured I'm just just gonna lose it, just like a lottery ticket you would. But uh, I figured, hey, we have it's better odds than you know than like a lottery ticket because you have CEOs trying to make this company good. But if they're going to do a, a 1 to 500 reverse split again, like my 350 shares or whatever I had for $20 is going to go down to like basically nothing. It's not going to even be worth it. It's probably going to go up to like $7. Um, but yeah. Um, so l let's just say one thing, other thing. It's, say the, the stock supposedly hits two cents. Say it hits two cents, you know, this this Hudson Bay deal is going to, is going to kill it. Um, it's just going to kill any run the stock has. So they need to figure that deal out and don't even think about a reverse split. Ted don't. All right. Um, so if anybody's thinking about investing into this company, you know, probably, probably put like 20 bucks in it. Like I did, you know, I want to invest a lot of money into this company but uh, the 27th is going to be very, very interesting on what happens. Um, I don't think this stock is going to go to an RS. I really don't because the shareholders just won't do it. I mean, we're telling Ted to make this company good without an RS. You already had an RS back in the day. How did that turn out? Not good. All right. All right. Subscribe and like my uh, videos. All right. I'm out.